Hello, in this class we will discuss about Hive architecture. So let's draw Hive architecture. In our last class we have discussed about the basic introductory part of Hive. So now in this class we will discuss about its architecture. So its architecture has first as user interfaces. user interfaces we have like web ui then we have hype command line hype command line and we have HD Insight. Insight. Next we have This part is of MapReduce. In this MapReduce, we have Hive query language as HQL process engine. Process engine and when and then we have execution engine. Execution engine. Now next unit is a store. We will call this as this is our meta store. This meta store is connected to map reduce part and also to the user interfaces. Now next one we have part This one is our HDFS. which is a distributed file system or we can use edge base file system so as we are discussed in our last class of introduction that Hadoop Hive resides on top of Hadoop so we have a Hadoop like we have a file system we have a processing part map reduce so it resides on a top so that we can process our data well a structured data well so this is basically the architecture of hive in this we have a file system where we can store file system then we have a meta store we have a map reduce part in which we have hive query language process engine and execution engine whereas in user interfaces we have web ui hive command line and hd insight so this will represent the complete architecture of hive now let's discuss its part Let's start with user interfaces. User interfaces. Now Hive is basically a data warehouse infrastructure software. Hive is data 
warehouse infrastructure so this is basically Adida warehouse infrastructure software that can create interaction between the user and HDFS. So this software can create interaction between, can create the interaction between user and next entity as file system which is HDFS. So it is a software which creates an interaction. So, user interfaces that we have drawn over here that Hive supports, that means what are the user interfaces that Hive supports are Hive Web User Interface. It can support Hive Command Line Web UI, it can support command line and also it can support high HD insight. This high HD insight is in Windows Server. So, these are the user interfaces. That means a software interface that, that allow us to create interaction between file system and us so this is about user interfaces next we have next we have meta store what is meta store now hive chooses respective database server that means it chooses various respective database server so that it can store the schema or metadata tables so to store schema or metadata tables so it is having a respective database server so that it can store the schema or metadata tables. It can support the various databases, it can support the columns in the table or their data types. That means columns in table, various data types, it can support various data types and also it is having a HDFS mapping. So, MetaStore is basically a database server where we can store the metadata, we can store databases, columns, tables, data types and also perform HDFS mapping. So, this is about two entities, user interfaces and MetaStore. We will discuss its next entity and its architecture entity in our next class. Thank you so much.